Hi, sturdy women. Hi, sturdy friends. I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're feeling good in your body. Today, I want to talk about red light therapy. Can you use it for lipedema and lymphedema? Spoiler, yes. Um, and what sort of device to look for? What does the evidence say about what it can do for symptoms? How to use it? How I use mine? I'm going to do my best to answer all of those questions today. Remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a woman with lipedema. Make sure you work with your care team before making any changes to your routine. Yes, evidence suggests that red light therapy can help relieve symptoms related to lipedema and lymphedema, including inflammation, swelling, reductions in limb circumference, pain, a study in 2017 had really interesting results with lymphedema patients who were stage two and stage three. The patients found it reduced the density of their fibrotic tissue, increased skin elasticity, significantly improved their clinical symptoms, i.e. limb circumference, so reduced the size of their limbs and improved their reported quality of life. Wow. Another study in 2017, this one on animals, found anti-inflammatory effects on abdominal fat, wound healing, muscle recovery, and pain from knee arthritis. One thing that those of us with lipedema often suffer with is loose skin, and not just from weight loss, just in general, right? Lipedema is a loose connective tissue disorder. I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of stretch marks all over my body. Part of that is the loose connective tissue. Um, so the question is, can red light therapy help that? A 2014 study looked at red light therapy and collagen, which of course is important to skin, and found that red light therapy increased the density of collagen as measured with an ultrasound. Now, I haven't tried to use my red light for intensive rejuvenation of my skin, so I cannot say whether or not that's true, um, but certainly you see lots of spas and salons and all kinds of places offering red light therapy for everything from acne to hair growth to I've even seen it for gums to all sorts of things. So there seems to be something around this regeneration of skin. There's also limited and conflicting evidence that red light could have some weight loss impacts. Um, you can find research saying both that it does and that it doesn't help with fat loss. Since lipedema is a fat disorder, I just want to throw that out there. I haven't tried to use it for fat loss, so I can't speak to that from my experience. Let's review that. Red light can reduce inflammation, reduce limb circumference through reduced swelling, increase circulation, increase skin elasticity. What is there not to like? Are you enjoying this video? Join our community now. Click subscribe below, then click the little bell, and you'll get a notification each time I post a new Sturdy Woman video. Which red light therapy device is best? I'm going to tell you the same thing I say about so many things. The best one is the one that you will use. They come in belts, which is what I have, little flashlights, panels that you can either hang up or stand on a desk. And really, it doesn't matter. What matters is what's going to work with your space, with your lifestyle, and what you're actually going to use. The one that I have and that I've used um, is a belt. And while it's a belt, you can use it in a wide variety of ways. You can see how long it is. It's really long. So you can wrap it around all sorts of things. You can lay on it, you can sit on it, you can spread it out and put your leg on top of it. You've got lots of different options with the belt. Check in the description below for links to some of my favorite red light products, including the belt that you see me using here. One thing that I really love about the brand that I'm linking below is that they offer a lifetime warranty. So if you buy something from them, make sure you register it. And then if you have any problems with it, you should be able to get a free replacement, which is awesome. Is red light therapy safe? The US FDA has cleared it for daily use and for most people, 15 to 20 minutes once or twice a day is perfect. 
Red light therapy can be really relaxing to use. It's just gonna heat up kind of like a heating pad, but not as warm, and just kind of give you a gentle relaxing sensation on your skin. I like to use mine before bed. A question I often get is whether you should wear clothes when using your red light therapy. In the pictures that you see for the ads for the devices, a lot of times you see people wearing clothes, but you're gonna get the best results if you use it on your bare skin. While it can penetrate through your clothes, there is gonna be some loss. So for the ultimate result, go ahead, take your compression off, take your clothes off, um, and shine it directly on your bare skin. Like I said earlier, less is more with the red light. 15 to 20 minutes once, maybe twice a day is going to be more than enough to get the kind of results you're looking for for lipedema or lymphedema. Of course, unless your provider tells you something else. At a certain point, your body can max out and say like, I've had enough. Um, so really that 15 to 20 minutes is a sweet spot. Any longer than that, and not only are you not getting extra benefit, you could even be causing damage. If you haven't submitted a question yet, it's not too late. The subscriber survey is still open. I'll link it above and below. Go ahead and submit your question and maybe you'll see it in a future video. Another potential benefit of red light therapy is nerve regrowth. Why am I talking about this? Well, about nine months ago, I had a vein ablation done on my leg. The doctor was rushing and he gave me nerve damage. When he was stripping the veins, he also damaged my nerves. So I have a large patch on the front of my leg that has been numb for the last nine months. Um, he just kind of said, sorry, uh, that happens sometimes. Give it a year, maybe it'll go away. Um, so I've been using my red light on it for about 15 minutes um, each evening. And I can say it does seem like it's helping. Um, I am gradually getting some feeling back rest for the first six months when I wasn't using it at all. It was just numb, numb, numb all the time. In addition to using the red light on my nerve damage, I've also used it on things like bruises. About a year ago, I took a really serious fall while exercising outside and expected to just bruise probably down half of my leg. Well, I came home and started using the red light on it almost immediately. Um, I used it 15, 20 minutes initially and then continued using it every day. I was shocked to see it not bruise at all. Um, I really attribute this to the increased circulation and the increased lymph flow that helped the area heal more quickly. Use the comment section below to let me know what other questions you have about red light and lipedema and lymphedema. And I know some of you have been using it. So post below, let us know how you've been using it, how it's been going. For more about me and my journey with lipedema, lymphedema, venous insufficiency, head over to sturdywoman.com. I'd love to see you there. I'll see you next time.